president's office. One moment, please. Sir, your wife is on line three for you. Relax, Frank, relax. All right, put her on. But why can't you let me know? How do you expect us to keep funding oh, secret Vicky, projects? Listen, I'm awfully busy right now. What is it? Doctor who? Oh, is he your chiropractor? Oh, I see, your analyst. So he wants to cut you back to three visits a week. Well, why call me? No. Oh. No, absolutely not. This is your problem for you to work out. I really am very busy. I'll have to go. Darling, if he won't listen to you, why should he listen to me? That's right. I still love you. Goodbye, Vicky. Look at this figure. Yes? You're late for the board of directors meeting. Oh, right. Frank, what do you know about enzymes? Enzymes? Yes, the enzymes in your skin oil. Come on, you'll find out. Come on, Frank, you may start without us. Who start what? Professor Haggard from Research and Development. He's here for the demonstration. Come what on. demonstration? Along with the voice analysis, the sensors detect any change in the enzyme composition of the skin oil. Body chemistry cannot be altered, even under heavy sedation. As long as the body comes in contact with the receiver, it will be impossible to impede detection. Good morning. I'm speaking to you on a device which will revolutionize communication. We call it the fact phone. The company has spent more than two and a half years developing this project, and now that it's completed, I can tell you all that my real name is Count Dracula. That's great. What the hell is it? The fact phone contains a sensing device. It will only allow a conversation to continue when the party holding it tells the truth. A lie detector. An infallible lie detector. I spent two years making sure of it. The circuits in the prototype are already into production and waiting to be installed. What? Now, this is not an instrument of punishment. It is not there to catch a liar in the act. It's there simply to uh, eliminate lying before it occurs. Do you expect us to approve this? My great-grandfather founded this company on lies and deceptions. Now, that's a matter I intend to live down. You can't be serious. I'm quite serious. You can't force people to tell the truth. It isn't any of your business. It's imposing. Why, it's, it, it's not right on America. But it is my business. It's my business to know the truth about everything that goes on in this company. Do you think it pleases me to hear lies and half-truths from my own employees? No, no, I'm not referring to anyone in this room. Yes. After a brief testing period here in our own offices, we will offer Fact Phone as a nationwide service. Soon, every phone in the country might be a Fact Phone. Including the one in the White House? You'll find all the information and figures in this state. Everyone's going to get one, huh? That's right, ma'am. And the thing's going to disconnect unless you tell the truth? The facts, ma'am. Just the facts. Oh, it's a great idea, J.R. Yeah, I'm behind you a thousand percent. God damn. Uh, sorry, J.R., we were uh, cut off a little. <laughs> Listen, as I was saying, uh, that's a great idea, and as soon as we get the board of directors to approve it, I'm sure that we can go ahead with all the plans. He'll be right with you. Sir, Mr. Marshall is on line three for you. 
Yes, let's make that appointment for next Monday morning, all right? Fine. Thank you. What are all these? Today's correspondence. That pile is all the complaints about the fact folks. And this pile general. Thanks. President's office. Hi, honey. How are you? Oh, hi, honey. How are you doing? Exhausted. It's been quite a day. No, not tonight, Freddie. I'm deluged with work here. Of course I want to see you, baby, but I just can't make it tonight. Hold on, Freddie. President's office. Put Marty on the line. This is his wife. No, I'll hold. Yes, ma'am. Listen, Freddie, I'd like to go with you, but I've already made plans for tonight. Hello? No, he's on another line. You want to hold? Okay. Hello? It's the idea hanging up on me. If you want to see me, just say so. I have feelings too, you know. Freddy, but... Don't bother. I don't need that from you or anybody. Freddy? Hello? No, he's on another line. Hold on. I want to talk to my husband right now. And see to it that the ComSat Network expansion report is duplicated in time for Friday's board meeting. Oh, and one more note regarding fact phone. Send a memo to public relations instructing that there's to be no publicity on fact phone unless I authorize it. Any outside inquiries are to be sent directly to me. What say, Frank? Yes. Yes, fine, Marty. Yes, I have the details right here. Uh, Marty, can we talk about this later, perhaps? Well, sure, Frank. Uh, I just wanted to know whether you had any trouble with it. Something uh, unexpected has come up. Can, can I call you back? Um, no, he just stepped out of the office. Can he phone you back? I'll do what I can. Oh, Marge, you've got to do something, Mr. Clark. I cut off a Moscow and I think it's back on the line. Everybody's going crazy with those phones. What do you want me to do? Anything, something. Margie, are you finished with those new subsidiary contracts? No, sir, not yet. Well, hurry them up. I'll need them first thing in the morning. You haven't any right. Tell people how to run their lives. Now, what are you babbling the about? The phones! See the fact phone? I thought we went all through that. Now, don't tell me now you're against me, too. Well, I've changed my mind. Now, look here. I've had quite enough talk about fact phones for one day. I don't care what the employees, what the stockholders, or what you think of it. Let's drop the whole subject. Margie, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I've had a busy day. What do you think I've had? A picnic in the woods? You think I like working here late four nights a week? Oh, you're right or wrong. Always organizing the mess you make and looking after like a little boy, like a... Like a spoiled little boy. Then your wife's called. Maybe she should work here. It's too bad I'm not your wife.
Finn, and what is the matter with you? Why didn't you show up for luncheon this afternoon? And why can't I ever get you on this telephone? It's like you've got somebody else. Marty, are you in love with another woman? Marty? Frank, uh, maybe you were right about the fact phones. Thank you. 